There we go. Okay, welcome back to a very tidal Sutton on Sea. Let me just, uh, sorry, the sun's probably in frame there, but trying to keep you on the rods, or rod, as it is now, I'm, and, uh, and not have the sun in frame is very difficult. Yeah, extremely tidal it is today, guys. I've had to recast three times. Uh, and rod one I've just brought in, the, right, the one on the right I've just brought in, and I'm going to keep it in for a little bit. I was expecting swell. I mean, to be honest, the forecast was spot on. I can't blame the forecast today. Um, but yeah, I'm just getting... It's going to be... One of those days with a lot of time lapses, I'm afraid, guys. There's going to be a lot of recasting. Uh, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to struggle with baits today, if this is the case. Uh, you may have seen in the time lapse, I tried walking about 30 yards that way, uh, casting out. And within five minutes, it was still on the beach down there. So, I mean, it's, it is very tidal today. It is a small tide, uh, there's, there's a great deal of movement, but you're definitely not going to catch that at home on your sofa, are you? And to be fair, there's worse places to sit and have your breakfast, isn't there? Which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to recast this and quickly trough some breakfast, but I'm going to recast it with some fresh bait on, uh, because I'm on... Uh, squid and mackerel wraps, I'm on crab and I'm on lug today because um, I actually planned on having more hooks in the water but yeah like I said that, that's now that's now on the beach that's in no water at all so I'm going to have to bring it in uh, we will have a chat later on we always do but um, I'm going to go revert back to the time lapses and uh, music because the the uncut uh, non time lapse version where I sped up slowed down bits it took me three days to get a video out and that was the video was constantly being worked on for three days be it rendering uploading or editing um, and I just don't have that time I just don't have that amount of time to spend on it on each release uh, so it's going to go back to to the format I was using before Speaking of, let's pop you on time lapse, get this rod in, get it rebated and reshot. I'll speak to you in a bit.
Gutted is not the word, guys. Oh, I'm absolutely devoured, absolutely devastated. Where's the fish? I had... Oh, no, the fish isn't on the beach. What's about that rig? I just had... Um, must have been... I don't know, for me, it would have been a per personal best. It was over five pounds. Easy over five pounds, smooth hound. I just bloody lost it in the surf. It were only 10 feet away from me. Oh, I'm absolutely gutted and knackered. That gave me one hell of a fight, that did. Oh, I'm absolutely devastated. Smur first smooth hound at season, that would have been. But because I was fanning about, because that, that rig had washed all the way straight back in, because I was, I mean, this is doing it again now. The waves have picked up again. Um, but because I was fanning about, trying to worry about where that line was, and trying to get the fish over, I saw the fish. Oh. Oh, that's painful. That's almost as painful as getting kicked in the nuts. That really hurts, that does. That really hurts. At least they're out there. Keep that, you know, grab onto that and hold it with both hands. They're out there, it seems. Um, it, it should have shown up in the time lapse. The rod bent, and I'm thinking, oh, it's just wave noise. And then it stayed bent, and then it started shaking side to side. So I struck into it, and straight away it felt heavy. And I thought I had a ray because there was no. As I was reeling in, it was just complete dead weight and it weighed a ton. And then I got it to about 20, 30 yards off and then it started, then it decided, no, I'm not coming in yet. And off it went. Rod, rod tip just went bong as it shot off. I'm genuinely knackered. But it just, uh, oh, I am devastated, absolutely devastated. Do me a favour, lift my hopes up a bit, press that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, press the like button, all that good stuff. Because, uh, oh man, um, I mean, right, okay, let me just talk you through one of the changes that I made and why I, I decided to resend the clip down. The pulley, I'm able to shoot out and... It's not necessarily holding bottom, but if I walk 20 yards that way, as you just saw me do, if I walk 20 yards that way, cast it out, it seems to be holding in front of me for a good five, maybe 10 minutes or so before it gets popped out by a big wave and off it goes again. Uh, but yeah, I changed over to a Gemini lead as opposed to the breakaway style. Uh, I do tend to find that the Gemini leads with their slightly um, more resistant legs, do tend to hold be bo bottom better. The seven ounce for seven ounce, uh, but that Gemini, it's gonna pop now because there's about, about an eight foot wave just about to crash down on my line. Um, let's see, see if we can see it hit the line. There it goes. But yeah, the Gemini seems to, for some ex to some extent, it seems to shoot round. I'm not where I want to fish. Where I actually want to fish is at the end of the beach huts, but yeah, grass. grass. Yeah. Where I actually want to fish is about 20, 30, 40, sort of 40 yards that way. But with it being slightly deeper over there, the waves are a lot, lot bigger. So, what I'm doing is I'm kind of casting into the big waves and then it's getting washed round and like I say it's holding in front of me ever so slightly for a little while until a big wave comes along and lifts and lifts the lead again but I can't get this two up clip down out far enough yeah, it's a, a piece of uh, bladder rack I actually found it on seaweed yeah seaweed is bladder rack um, so at least I've found a way to be able to hold bottom on the panel. I might switch this, the, the other rod over to a panel as well and try and get them both out. Uh, the panels that I've tied though are all big hooks, so I'm not too sure. Not too sure. 
Uh, the wind, hopefully, is going to help because the wind has, has, as was forecast, has sort of come around and is slightly more behind me now. It's only light, but hopefully that'll knock a bit of the sea down. Um, I don't, maybe that's wishful thinking, I don't know. But as I've now found a way for it to hold bottom slightly, I'm going to take this opportunity to have some breakfast. No, that's... is that wave? Yeah, it is. I'm going to take this opportunity to have some breakfast. Um, and a cup of tea. Let that bait soak for a little while, unless something happens. I mean, bike detection is going to be an absolute nightmare today. Um, they're telling the difference between these waves. I also thought, in all fairness, I thought I might be on my own down here today, but you can see, I don't know, it won't show up on camera, but you can see one angler right on the corner just down there. Get your hands out of my pockets. Um, and actually, when you look past him, I think there's a match on, because there's about 10 anglers uh, just down there slightly, so I think there must be a match on down that way. Uh, sort of heading towards Mablethorpe front. So, but yeah, that's, that's holding. I'm gonna stop waffling. I'm gonna pour myself a cup of tea and I'm gonna have a bite to eat. I'll talk to you in a bit. I'll leave you on the rods. Uh, I think we had a missed opportunity in there. I resent a crab bait after the one I lost. Although, I mean, it probably is silly to send a crab bait when I lost a fish on a squid and mackerel bait. But then, when we brought that, when I've just brought that in, yes, it was out there for a while. I'll grant you that, but it was well, sec well secured, and the hook was just completely stripped. Um, to the best of my knowledge, this beach is not well known for having issues with crab stripping baits. Obviously, they probably are out there, but... Uh, well, they will be out there. But it's not that usually not that heavy for them. Um, we've, we've been visited by a seal, haven't we? Yeah, I found it. 
literally visited. I don't know if it'll show up on the time lapse, uh, but it literally came out of the water. Well, actually, the reason why I had to leave that bait out longer than I intended, the last one, was because it literally came up onto the beach where I've been walking to cast. Uh, but it's got to a point. It got to a point where I just had to bring it in, so I've had to shoot it out in front of me just to be sure, just for another cast. Just give it another 20 minutes before it before we make sure it's buggered off. The last thing I want is a seal to uh, is to hook into a seal. But I mean, I don't know if these rod tips are going to be in shot, but just to show you sort of how impossible it is. Can you see that? Probably not, because the red rod's in the way. But just to show, you know, if I put, the thing is, if I put you the other side, the sun will be pointing into the lens and it'll be nothing but lens flare. Which is all right if you're Michael Bay filming the Transformers. But I'm not, I'm a YouTuber recording fishing on a beach in Lincolnshire, Lancashire, Lanc Lincolnshire. on the Lincolnshire coast. Oh, take this hat off. Oh no, it's a bit cold with my hat off. See how we get on. Tend to find hats just aren't long enough for my head. Um, I'm still not reshot the other, but other rig. I think what I'm going to do, in fact, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to cannibalize one of my other pulley rigs, one of my other clip down rigs, take the hooks off it, in fact I'll probably do it with the one that's on, um, take the hooks off it and put them on a, on, a, on a pulley rig and hope that I can shoot it out far enough. Uh, the temptation is to use another pulley rig with size 2 O's on it and put a, and band a load of worms onto it. In fact you know what, that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to get a pulley rig out, I'll grab another pulley rig with big hooks on because uh, I think in this sea it is going to be very much, oh I don't know, I was going to say it is going to be very much a go big or go home sea but I don't know, the forecast isn't for this, for this sea to calm down at all today, uh, in actual fact that today is the clearest day fishing wise for nearly 10 days so you know it's going to be hard going for the next sort of 10 days uh... literally just about to cast out and at my feet there was a seal uh, I'd love to get some nice foot some close-up footage of one but I think I think it's gone back out there literally just here in the surf, at his feet, right here, 10 seconds ago. Oh, thought we could have had a bit of interest then, there it is, out there. 
That's going to have to hold off recasting shortly for, for a couple of minutes. In fact, what I'll do is I wasn't going to rebait, I was going to resend the same baits, but seeing as that's right in front of where I'm casting. So yeah, I was literally just about to recast. So what I'll do, looks like it might have done me a favour actually, because if I'd have recast into that, it'd have been washed in in no time. I'm going to bring both lines in and rebait because I was just going to resend the same baits again because uh, they're not in too bad condition. But, uh, seems as that guy's right in front of me, or was right in front of me a couple of minutes ago. Rather than risk either hooking into it or it, try, or it trying to take me bait or, you know, whatever. That and the seas just whipped up in my almighty fury. Um, I'll bring both lines in, put some fresh bait on, and go from there. They've both been washed in anyway. They were both coming in, but like I said, I was just going to recast them both. This rose will be gutted, she's missed that. It was literally right at my feet. This tide's supposed to be on the ebb now. Bloody look like it. Can't believe that. It were right at my feet. I've left my phone on my box. My cam you, cam you guys were up here on time lapse. And it were literally right in front of me. Literally. It looked straight at me. I went, oh yeah and ran off to get, ran back up the beach to get my camera, turned round, and off he or she had gone. Let's get some fresh bait on, get them reshot. If it had stuck around, it could have had this bait. There's Rosa gone. There she is. time is it because you know what I'm thinking guys oh. that sea is just whipping up wilder and wilder I was hoping that the ebb was going to calm it down but it's not it's just getting worse and worse
I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it. So this is going. Unless something dramatic happens with the sea state and it calms down, this is going to be my last cast on both rods. I didn't want to do that. Didn't want to call that, but. I've got two wraps left. I mean, I've got a boatload of worm left, but I'm not going to get, and the thing is, I'm not going to get out to use it. That's, that's the upsetting thing. I won't get back out to use up this worm. Where's my elastic? Where's my knicker elastic gone? There it is. Oh, do you know? Now I'm dropping worms everywhere. Come on, stay home. I'll drop another bloody one. It's not worth bloody doing it. There we go. Yeah, that sea state's just getting worse and worse. So I've got two wraps left. I'll use them up. And then whatever's left will have to be released to the sea. At least something might get a meal out of it. And then we'll bugger off home. Right guys, so yeah, I've kind of, I've kind of decided that I'm going to call this last cast. The sea state is getting, is doing nothing but getting worse. I mean, the, the red rod is almost getting pulled out of the stand just by the sea. The match has packed up, they've all gone home. So, yeah, I'll leave you on the rods. We'll time lapse this last bit of the session. I've just cast the red rod over into a different area to see if it can all bottom a little bit better off to the right. Doesn't seem to be doing too badly, actually. I'll leave them out for five, ten minutes, let them soak. And if nothing, if nothing happens, if the sea doesn't calm down, we'll call it a day. Head off home. It's lifting my legs so much that it's slack lining now. And that's completely slack. Which is weird, like I said, this is supposed to be, we're supposed to be in slack water now. Yeah, well and truly. But Sod's Law, Shade, Oldness Codfather's just messaged me. So the forecast was supposed to be that it wasn't supposed to get any better at all for days. Days and days. Jesus. Um, 
And he's just messaged me saying, no, oh, forecast has turned around for tomorrow now. It's meant to be nice tomorrow, at least on, on, the, uh, on the Holderness coast it is. But, you know, as the saying goes, I made my bed, I'll lie in it. I had, to, I had to come today or tomorrow. I've come today, I can't do both. I have commitments that I must fulfill on Sunday. So anyway, I'll pop you back on time lapse. I'll finish this session out. If nothing happens, I'll, uh, I'll just film, I'll just keep filming the time lapse all the way into, uh, all the way into, uh, what's the word? All the way through the pat down. I shan't come back, I shan't, this, consider this, if nothing else happens, consider this the outro. Please do like, share and subscribe. I've worked hard for you today, guys. I've worked hard. I've tried to get you a fish. I've tried to get myself a fish. I wanted some bass for the table for my supper, but uh, just not happening. Just not happening. I mean, the fact that the seals are here does suggest that there is fish out there. And I, I mean, I did. I lost one early doors. But... Uh, The sea just doesn't want to play ball today. She doesn't want to give up her secrets today. She wants to keep everything close to her chest, so. <sighs> yeah. Like, share, subscribe, do all that groovy stuff for me, please. I do massively appreciate it. I'm, I'm, I'm almost within touching distance of that, that magical 1K subscribers. As always, do head down into the description Pick up the other friendly YouTubers, the Holdness Codfather, Jimmy Codbites, uh, Berg UK, I think I should remember to put in there, and obviously John Levo fishing, Levo's fishing adventures. Um, yeah, it's going to be probably it from me today. I'll flick you onto time lapse, and we'll we'll finish the video out that way, unless a fish comes on. I'll see you in a bit.